With Synology Drive Server, you can sync files on your computer to your Synology NAS. Once the data has been properly synced, you can not only easily share the link with others, the Synology Drive Server can also save multiple versions of your files for quick recovery if necessary. You'll find the timestamp of each section in the video description. Before you start, Sign in to DSM with an account belonging to the Administrators Group and install Synology Drive Server from the Package Center. First, we need to enable the shared folder as a team folder. Launch Synology Drive Admin Console and go to the Team Folder page. Select the shared folder that you want to sync with and click Enable. Configure version control as needed, then click OK. Next, we need to make sure that the shared folder has the appropriate permissions configured. Go to Control Panel, Shared Folder, and select the folder you just enabled as a team folder. Click Get It, Permissions, and make sure that the permissions are configured appropriately. Click Save if you made any changes. Last, we need to check the permissions for users in Synology Drive. Go to Control Panel, Application Privileges, and select Synology Drive, Edit. Configure user and group permissions as necessary. Then click Save. Let's set up a connection between your Synology NAS and your computer. First, download and install Synology Drive Client to your computer from the Synology Download Center. You can also go to the Synology Drive web portal, click on the user icon in the bottom left corner, then select Client, Download Client. Launch Synology Drive Client on your computer. Then click Start Now. Connect to your Synology NAS with Synology Drive Server installed using either its domain name, Quick Connect ID, or IP address, and enter its username and password. Click Next. Select Sync Task and click Next. Confirm the path of the local and remote folders you want to sync. You can click Change to select different folders. For Windows 10 PCs, tick the checkbox to enable on-demand sync and save disk space. Check out the article about on-demand sync in the video description for more info. Click Advanced if you want to configure advanced sync settings, such as file filter or sync mode. On the File Filter page, you can filter out certain file sizes, file names, or file extensions from being synced. On the Sync Mode page, you can set the sync direction to two-way sync, one-way download of data from the server, or one-way upload of data to the server. Click Apply to save your settings and click Done to finish the setup. Now you should be able to find the Synology Drive Client icon in the system tray. Left-click on the icon to view records of file uploads, downloads, and notifications. Double-click on the icon to launch the client. Open the Sync folder by clicking on the folder icon in the system tray. In Windows File Explorer or Finder on Mac, you can directly drag files into the folder to sync them to your Synology NAS and its connected clients. To get a file sharing link, right-click on a synced file and select Synology Drive Get Link. You can download a previous version of a synced file on the computer running Synology Drive client. Go to the sync folder, right-click on the file you want to restore and select Synology Drive Browse Previous Versions. Select the version that you want 
and then click the download button to download it to your computer. To learn more about Synology Drive, subscribe to the Synology YouTube channel or click on another video to keep watching.